from the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. All right, the time now is 623. Well, we've all been there. You know you're sick. You don't want to give it a week, so you go to the doctor for antibiotics. But you don't feel like you always have that time to wait. So next week is actually Antibiotic Awareness Week. And so when, whenever we're trying to focus on antibiotics, joining us this morning with, is someone who prescribes them to patients is Baptist Health, Dr. David Gerson with Sherwood Family Medical Center. I'm sure you've been in there and just like, give me a Z-Pack, Doc. You know, yeah. I mean, how, I remember that, that that was the most, I think, famous phrase in college. Oh, just give me a Z-Pack. Just give me a Z-Pack. Just give it's, me a Z-Pack, right? It's easy, and it's great marketing. It's great marketing. Sure. But the, but the reality is, is that unfortunately, whether it's a Z-Pack or any other antibiotic, 80% of the time, you're not treating a bacteria. You're, you're trying to treat a virus, and that's just not going to happen. Antibiotics do not treat viruses, and so that's why we're trying to pay special attention. We do it all around the year, but around this time of year, we really try to pay attention to not over-prescribing antibiotics because we're really facing kind of a, not just in our country, but worldwide uh, epidemic mm -hmm. of bacterial resistance to antibiotics. So the evolution of bacteria... Uh, yeah. The antibiotics are, they're becoming resistant to them, so they're just becoming non-effective, right? Yeah. yeah. So we have good bacteria and bad bacteria living on us and in us all the time, okay. right? And so there's a constant kind of ballet of those bacteria fighting each other to keep us healthy. If we take antibiotics, if we overuse them, we kill the good bacteria and let the bad bacteria kind of thrive. That's the problem. And so it's not that the patient is getting resistant, it's that the bacteria are, the, the more resistant bacteria are growing more and more in population. And bacteria, just like viruses, are really brilliant, even though they're very small organisms. Mm -hmm. They're brilliant as far as how they evolve. They evolve in their own life cycle. Well, you know, it takes us thousands and millions of years to evolve. Yeah. Bacteria evolve in their own life cycle, and they're just getting too smart for our antibiotics. So whenever people come in and they've got these symptoms, um, flu-like symptoms, something like that, they right. think it's the flu, maybe it's not. I mean, I... Do people not realize how many hundreds of viruses there are variations out there that they think are bacteria infections? No, they don't. They don't. And, and, that's, and that's maybe a, a, where we fail as doctors and, and, and the health professionals as, as communicating that, is that 80% of the time when you get an infection, it is not bacterial, it's viral. Okay. And so we have to, you know, we just have to let patients know with the flu, you mentioned the flu, it's important is that we don't have a lot of uh, antivirals, but we do have an antiviral for the flu. Hmm. So if you do feel like you get the flu symptoms, and we probably talked about that on the TV before, it's kind of important to see a health professional within that first 48 hours because we do have antivirals for the flu, but we don't have antivirals for really much more else. Now here's the, these common infections caused by viruses. This is, you know, 80% of what I see in the office, um, and this is what patients are really expecting to get an antibiotic for, and I think they don't understand that if they take the antibiotic, they're putting themselves at risk. Um, of, of getting themselves sicker or the next time they get sick, not being able to respond to an antibiotic. Okay, so some important things to know before going in. Know your symptoms, know what to tell your doctor about the symptoms when they started yeah, as well, some yeah, things like yeah. that. And, and, and ask the doctor, listen, is there other things I can do besides take antibiotics yeah. for this? If the doctor really thinks that this is a bacterial infection, they're gonna go ahead and, and encourage you to take the antibiotics, but you know, try to come up with other uh, alternatives to treatment because most of the times it's not gonna, uh, it's not gonna uh, uh, the antibiotics are just not gonna do anything. Okay, and you don't wanna kill the good bacteria in the right. process. All right, Dr. Gerson, thank you so much. Hey, this is the Baptist Health Health Line. You can call it or go to their website at any time and set up an appointment to a clinic near you. We'll see you next time, Dr. Gerson. Right. Thanks for coming in, man.